what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel guys. And we are in the Florida Keys. That is right, check it. We are gonna go fishing off the dock. That is right. We have some snapper down there. We have some parrot fish. And we also have some sharks and barracuda that swim around here and there. Hopefully we can catch one of those guys today. Check out this beauty. That is the Freeman guys. It's like literally my favorite thing to do when we come down here is just be on that beautiful boat. Anyway y'all, we are gonna get to it, get some shrimp on the hook and let it sink and hopefully get a big old snapper, maybe even a barracuda or a shark, something like that. So this is my setup. This is literally one of my dad's offshore rods. I have a little chum rope down here that I shake up like every like 10 minutes or so to keep these fish engaged, especially if I'm not catching them. I like to keep that thing shook up. I kind of keep my drag a little loose too on these snapper because one, it's a way more fun of a fight whenever it's loose like that. It's like fighting a barracuda. Oh my gosh. I even, what the heck? I literally was not prepared for that. I was just talking to you guys how I set my drag. <laughs> well, first fish. <laughs> that was off a of shrimp, guys. We get these shrimp from West Marine. It's like a little local. Um, ah, first fish. And let's catch some more fishies. We're using just shrimp to catch these guys. These little shrimps are, are no joke. We just get these from West Marine and and they tear them up. It's crazy. Clearly, I was literally like got attacked immediately. Oh, that's an eel. There's an eel. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna catch an eel, y'all. There's an eel down here. No way. Oh, that's a fish. No, why? Dang it. I literally almost had another one. Golly, I think I need to let them eat it longer. There's so many fish down here, y'all. Like, so many fish. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let them eat it. There we go. That's a good one. That's a pretty good mangrove. Oh, that barracuda wants my fish. He wants my fish. He wants my fish. Oh, this guy choked it. Oh my gosh, he choked it. All right, this is a really pretty snapper right here. I believe this is a mangrove, but I'm not entirely sure. It's got some yellow to it. Yeah, this is a mangrove. Yeah, it should be a mangrove, but. And he just goes straight back down. This dude choked the crap out of it. He is so fat, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, he choked the crap out of that. So pretty. I'm just gonna keep fishing until I see a big old shark roll through. Hold on, you guys are dirty. Let me clean you guys up real quick. All right, let's get another shrimp. A little crump. Get that crump going. Catch another shrimp. Oh, I have a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? What do I have? Oh my gosh, dude, what do I have? Don't come off. Is it a parrotfish? It's a parrotfish, dude. It's a parrotfish. It's a parrotfish. No way. I have a parrotfish on a shrimp? It's a big parrotfish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, don't come off. Don't come off. No! No! All right, y'all, so you just saw me break off on that parrotfish. Very heartbreaking, but it's okay. They seem to be pretty active, so I have high hopes that we'll catch another one. I'm gonna sit you guys right here, and we're just gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna retie, and, um, I am really waiting on a nurse shark to come through here, but the issue is that the wind was really heavy earlier, and so and it was coming inshore, pushing inshore, so I have a feeling that the squid scent isn't gonna really get out that quickly. Um, so the sharks probably haven't even smelled it yet, but good thing the wind did just die down. It's getting very clear skies. The weather's looking really good right now. So hopefully, as I continue fishing, some scent will get through. 
and uh, out a little bit and these sharks will start smelling and come in. So. I had on a big parrot fish a second ago. Really? Dude, yeah, and then I go over there to land it, and I don't have a net, and you can't boat flip because it'll break the rod tip, because they're fat. And so I get down there and try and like belly it, kind of like a bass, yeah. you know how you do a smallmouth? And as soon as I get down there, my rod tip is going like this, and it goes and just like takes off. Finally got one. Baby Barracuda. There's like a four foot one over there, but. Ooh. He gone. Snapper. You want to see it, Baylor? Want to see the snapper? <laughs> He's like, get that thing away from me. So, here's fishy number one. Um, he's a cute little guy. I don't think Baylor likes him. <laughs> I don't think so, but let's release him. All right, and the second fish, I mean, we caught more than this, guys, but these were these were the the bigger ones of them all. He's a feisty one. He's ready to go. Um, but golly, hurting. But yeah. Ah, he gone. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I had a blast. I mean, we didn't catch that many, and we also didn't weren't able to catch the barracuda. But it is what it is. We're here for a long time. It's summertime, so we're going to be doing a lot more videos like this. Baylor, <laughs> you want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye? Peace. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, smash that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.